Joshua Orsi have cast their ballots in the country's presidential election. But reports from Anglophone parts of the country where protesters vowed to disrupt the poll say many voting stations were not operational after opening time. 85-year-old Bia, who has been in power since 1982, is one of nine candidates seeking a seven-year term. Heavy police and military contingents patrolling polling stations. The country that has suffered Boko Haram insurgencies is now plagued by its own internal strife. An uprising in which the Northwest and Southwest are rebelling against Reuters. being forced to use French Reuters. has left tens of thousands displaced as the government cracks down on protesters. In his campaign, President Bia blamed separatists for the crisis but acknowledged their grievances. There is still room for hope. There is still room for hope. The country is going forward and will continue to go forward. A candidate for the main opposition, Joshua Osi of the SDF party, promised to resolve the problem within 100 days if elected. He said he would return the country to a federal structure where Anglophone regions would use English and Francophone regions would use French. Uh, the message is that change is possible. I have no doubt that it will be done. Six million Cameroonians have registered to vote at 3,500 voting stations around the country. Bia is widely expected to win another seven-year term, even though the opposition attempted a coalition going into the poll. In the country's first-past-the-post electoral model, the candidate with the highest number of votes will win, even if they don't get majority of the votes. According to the constitution, the results must be announced within 15 days. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News. Members of the South Africa.